now we can kind of get a good look at what the frame looks like as well what kind of shape it's in it doesn't look like there's any paint chipping off as if there was any stress on it or anything however it does look a little dirty back in here um, that mount for the the center stand I know I wanted to take the center stand off but if it's kind of incorporated right into the frame I don't know that I'll be able to we can always just cut it off uh, quite a bit of dirt in here once we get all these other pieces off and the swing arm off I'll be able to clean it up and paint it as well so here is another issue I'm going to have because I'm changing the tank the tank uh, spot where this nipple here would fit uh, and mount in as it is I only have one there and there left there and there and the other one mount up here. And without this, it's a little weak. So I don't know what I'm going to have to do to put that on. Maybe make a mount back here. Keep that a little tighter maybe. Or forego this all together and put on maybe a leather cover or a fabric, maybe some kind of Kevlar, uh, red Kevlar, and tie it in between here and here, and leave this, this around here to cover up the battery. The other side would be where the air, air box goes, but this side I should cover up the battery with something. Now, I don't think this would work. This piece is going to be a little loose. So that's something I gotta confirm. Maybe we can weld in a piece here. So there's the new seat. Got it in, I'm pretty happy with it. And this all bolts together where the tank used to bolt on in the seat right there. Now this plate. Uh, we'll bolt on here at the front, but I need a place here to bolt it on in the back, and I gotta bend this little piece flat so that I can drill a hole there and I can bolt it right down to the frame here. And then this will keep the uh, electronics, um, the electronics bay dry. I'm concerned a little bit. There's an air breather right here for the air box, and I might have to cut out some of this refinish this um, once I get that, that air box in. But I'm going to bend this and drill a hole here and see if I can make this fit a little nicer right there. Okay, that's been flat pretty simple. Um, of course all the paint chipped off, but that's fine. We have to we have to uh, refinish this anyway, probably in blue or red. This goes right down here. I'm just going to get this as snug as possible and in the right position as possible so that we can get this hole as accurate as we can.
paint all these bolts as well. got this new tank which is pretty sharp. I'm liking the way that looks on here. However, we have to make some new mounts. So right here there's a little gap. And I've got a little spacer which I've notched out which will fit there. And I'll put a screw or a bolt in the top and I'll bolt that down here. And then we're going to have to notch out a piece right in here and put a screw in there, drill a hole into the frame and put a, a, a nut in there so that I can bolt down here and bolt down here and secure the tank. But I'm liking the way this, this looks. This looks really sharp, really minimalized. So this tank is brand new. It comes from Drag Specialists, and I ordered it via Fortnite, and uh, it's a really nice looking tank. It's really good quality as far as I know, as far as I can tell. Um, I'm going to have to get uh, a cap that fits in there. It's got like a, a lock, not a screw type. It's got a lock type. Now, what I'm concerned about is these two holes on the bottom. I'm pretty sure that my pet cock should fit straight into this one. If it doesn't, then I'm going to have to get a new pet cock. Yeah, see this is threaded on the outside here, and this is threaded on the inside. So that's not going to fit. And I'm pretty sure this one's the same. Yeah, that's a threaded on the inside. I don't know why there's two. <coughs> And the old petcock came off of this side of the tank, so I'm going to see if I can get one that will fit in there. And I don't know what what they put this one on for. I probably have to fit the petcock here, and then this is some kind of a drain. Um, in which case, I'll have to find a little valve or something that goes in that. And, uh, petcock that fits through the inside of this one and then I'll have to run run the gas ar around and under to the other side carburetor. I'll have to run the hose out to the other side of the carburetor but my old petcock won't fit on this tank so I'll have to be getting I'll see if I can search a new one of that and then I'm gonna have to drill a couple holes in here so that they I can screw it right down to the tank and uh, form everything so it fits in there. It's really nice. This is the inner fender, which I will clean up. And then once we get, once I get the uh, you know, the frame back from Matt, we'll know where it is I have to cut this because I'm not going to retain all of this uh, this stuff. But I do want some of it to protect the electronics underneath the seat. I got to sandblasting some of the uh, engine mount parts and uh, they're looking pretty sharp. 
I went ahead and powder coated a couple of them red and they're just about done baking. The new element here is doing really good. It warms it up really fast and it gets the parts nice and warm. But I don't have enough I don't have enough powder to paint the, this piece as well. So I'm going to have to wait for some new powder to come in before I get to tackle that. 